What is the dumbest thing you have done while horny? A girl asked me over during the daytime but I didn't have a smartphone with Google Maps, so charted the course to her house onto a huge town map I found in my parents' house. Was walking the streets for about an hour holding this huge map trying to find my way, felt like Bilbo Baggins. Edit, thanks for all the comment love and sorry for not giving a conclusion to the tale until now. I arrived eventually and actually made it into her room where we started making out. We got to the point where we were grinding on each other and started removing clothing when her brother came home and I had to spend a good couple of hours sat in the living room pretending I was just a friend and not there for sex. As soon as he went back out we did it as quick as possible and I started my journey back home. Back before GPS and smartphones, but as chat rooms and online hookups started, I had to print MapQuest directions to girls' houses, and pray you don't get lost. Back in 2003, my friends and I took a road trip from Toronto to Baltimore. Using Laura's printouts from MapQuest and a big-ass map of the East Coast. Needless to say, we got lost more than once. I ended up making out with and going home with an attractive but completely crazy woman who used to hang around our local bar. Back at her place she puts on her Lauren Hill CD, strips completely naked, attempts to dance provocatively, we were both pretty drunk, and starts giving me a BJ. It was at this point her 18-year-old son wandered into the lounge and started protesting violently about what was going on. She tells him to duck off and huge argument erupts between them. Remember she's drunk and naked and I'm sitting on the sofa with my jeans around my ankles and a rapidly deflating heart on. I came to my senses, zipped back up and GTFO. Apparently she's currently doing time for violently assaulting and attempting to stab her boyfriend, so I think I got off pretty light. I feel sorry for the kid. Apparently he's married and doing okay but you're right he didn't really have the best start in life. Yeah watching your mum give strangers gobbies in the lounge room probably isn't the most nurturing upbringing. Gobbies. In the lounge room. Texted. It's been my experience that horny texting can be significantly worse than drunk texting. Jerked off in the private work bathroom forgot to lock the door and the new guy walked in on me and he quit a week after. What do you mean we don't get jerk off breaks? Bro do you even work jerk? Didn't have a car at the time. My dumbass walked 4 miles to hers at 2 in the morning. Called multiple times, she was dead asleep. Dragged my blue balls another 4 miles back and cried myself to sleep. See the mistake you made is walking instead of running. The real reason cardio is important for sex. I remember that thread where the guy thought exercises made people horny, so he always said to girls he would hook up with that they should run around the block before he got at their houses, Lamau. Reddit.com Drunkenly called a phone sex line, but was so horny and drunk that I didn't clue until after I hung up that I had used my father's landline instead of my cell phone. That was an awkward talk the next day. One of my buddies fell on hard times and another buddy let him stay with him for a few weeks. Do ran up a hundreds phone bill on those lines. WTF, why do folk do that? D. Maybe there's a clue here about why he fell on hard times in the first place. Unprotected sex on her period. Broke up the next week. She slept with a guy the day after. Got pregnant. Spent nine months not knowing who the dad is. Prenatal tests illegal in my country. We're protection boys. Not me, but my brother. He stuck it into the nozzle of a milking machine on the farm. He was 14 and it bruised the hell out of him. The swelling was bad and he had to show dad. He was okay, but the rest of us thought it was funny. You can bet we milked it for all it was worth. I'm just wondering. What brand of milk did you guys sell? Think I'll switch to soy. LOL. We sold to an ice cream company, the farm is long gone and my brother is in his 60s now. So it's cheese now. Okay. Dug a penis size hole in the ground. Filled it with packing grease ducked it. So you've done it with a planet? Next hell be bold enough to pull his dick from the dirt and duck the whole universe. I dyed my hair black. My roommate was dyeing his hair black and the girl who was helping him was ridiculously hot. When she was done helping him she came into our living room and sat down next to me on the couch wearing short shorts and a light green tube top. She just watched me play video games before just turning to me and running her hands through my hair and saying, you know, we've got some dye left, I bet you would look really hot with black hair. 
So while completely forgetting I had gotten an allergic reaction the last summer from a henna tattoo, I looked straight at her amazing body as she was running her hands through my hair and said, that sounds like a great idea. She was right, it looked good, but the second day, my head was itchy, the third day, my scalp was red, and the following day, I woke up and I couldn't open my right eye. I reached up to touch my face, and my hand reached my face before I thought it would. When I looked in the mirror, I screamed. The best description I can give is I looked like that orc from Return of the King. The one who says the age of men is over. So like that, but with a full head of Elvis black hair. It took a full month, on medication, for the swelling to go down. Though the girl did come over quite often to smoke with me a bunch while I looked like freak. You ended up looking like Gothmog? Yeah, the girl was right to say that you'd end up looking hot. If it was Gothmog the Balrog, yeah. But I ended up like Gothmog the Orc. Both are hot in their own ways. Left the house at 11 p.m. to drive four hours to have sex in a sleeping bag in a hotel, then had lunch with her parents the next morning. We have been married for 15 years this December so it worked out. Wait, why the sleeping bag inside a hotel room? What, you expect them to share the bed with her parents? Pretty much everything I have done while horny. It's just a generally undignified state to be in. Masturbate, reevaluate. Texted my ex. Texted my ex. Tried to duck a jar of grape jelly. Was really excited to try it all day when I got home, because I had stolen it that morning at my bus stop at the convenience store and kept it in my backpack all day. I could barely get my clothes off fast enough when I got home and immediately went to work. Obviously it didn't work, and just as I was getting ready to give up, my parents came home early and surprised me. I had no time to clean anything up so I just balled up the whole mess into an undershirt and shoved it under my bed, and just pulled my boxers and shorts up over myself still covered in jelly and greeted my parents as naturally as I could. Ended up having to interact with them in the kitchen for at least 30 minutes, as everything in my shorts was drying and setting and adhering to everything else, and the stench of old, dry, barely fucked jelly was all I could smell. I even made and ate a PBJ while we were talking, because I was so paranoid about the jelly smell. It would have honestly been a horrible experience even if I just tried it and failed without them coming home, but the extra shame that came with having to just sit in that filth like that stayed with me for weeks. Oh one oh would not recommend. Please tell us that you didn't make a PBJ with the same jar? No, that would be ridiculous. Right, there's the line, got it. Humped in between my sofa cushions to completion. Are you the leather couch guy? Nine months later timestamp, 058. Dropped $2,000 on strippers. In my defense, I was also high on coke. Not sure that defense would hold in court though. It would if the judge went to law school in the 80s. October 30th, 1991. I walked 8 miles through hurricane force winds on Nantucket Island to spend the night with my girlfriend trying to choke myself with a belt and ending up putting all the pressure on my arteries instead which only got me the biggest nosebleed of my life and feeling dangerously lightheaded. People have died doing just that. Please be careful. Yeah self-releasing cuff is probably the minimal required safety apparatus and I still wouldn't be super comfortable with it. Think icy hot cream would make an acceptable lube for jerking off. Spoiler alert, ooh this is interesting. Wait. No. Ouch. Hot ouch in my defense, I was in my teens at the time. Some guys in middle school did this before a football game. They started to cry during halftime. One of the coaches asked what was wrong and one of the guys said he cried because he loved football so much. This is some sitcom shit. Sounds made up but I could believe it. 